All right, so, um, again, this author loves to set up, set up questions and then immediately use the results of the question. So here's a question that is considered useful. Suppose that a e to the i x plus b e to the i b x equals c e to the i c x. For some non-zero constants a, b, and c, and little a, b, and c for all x. Show or prove that a equal b equal c and capital A plus capital B equals c. All right. <laughs> so this is a this is the little math whiz challenge. Um, it is just a matter of solving for the coefficients like we've done before in differential equations. We have several unknowns, so we need to find several equations. Since the equations hold for all x, let's get our initial or get our first equation by setting x equal to zero. All right, so if we set x equal to 0, all the exponentials go to uh, cancel to 1, since e to 0 is 1. Pretty easy there. So right off the bat, we show that a plus b equals c. Done. All right, now for the rest, we have to do a little more manipula manipulation work to solve for the argument a, b, and c's. So let's go ahead and differentiate once. And we see that we have i a times the same thing, i b times the same thing is, equals i c. Uh, clearly, the i's cancel in all parts, and if we evaluate this at x equals 0, we get an equation little a, big A, plus little b, big B, equals little c, big C. So if we differentiate again, we get the same thing with the squares, except uh, we see the i squares cancel, and, uh, and if we evaluate this at x equals 0, convenient values work, we get little a squared, big A, plus little b squared, big B, equals little c squared, big C. All right, so with these three equations, we can algebraically solve, and uh, here's where the real fun starts. Finding the equations to algebraically solve was not bad. Now, having, <laughs> having the arrangement to substitute them in will matter. All right, so if we start from three, what we see is that we have little a squared, big A, plus little b squared, big B, is equal to c squared, big C. So if we separate that little c squared into c times little c times big c well the little c times big c can be we can substitute in equation two into that okay so what we're really left with is little a times little a squared times big a plus little b squared times big b is equal to little c times a uh, little a times a plus little b times big b all right our next goal here after substituting in equation two is to multiply both sides by uh, a plus b. Uh, again, so long as you do it to both sides, everything's algebraically equivalent, and you're good to go. Um, here, what we notice is that, uh, and I highlight that in red, but what we notice is that on the right-hand side, we can go ahead and substitute in what a plus b is. Okay, cool enough. So uh, we'll go ahead and substitute in equation 1 for that, which gives us big C, little c. Oh, oh, fascinating. Now we have a big C and a factor of little c again, times little a, uh, big A plus little b, big B. Uh, and we can factor, and we can now use that substitution to uh, factor in equation two again. Why do we do this? Because in the next step, we'll see everything cancel. Okay, so we, we from equation three, we substitute in equation two only to multiply and substitute in equation one, only to substitute in equation two yet again. Okay, now that we're here, we see that we have uh, big A plus big B uh, times little a squared big A plus little b squared big B is equal to little a big A plus little b big B all squared. And now we can distribute, okay? Now the left-hand side, uh, we see that we get a cancellation of little a and big A and we get a cancellation of little b squared and big b squared with the right-hand side after we distribute things all together. Now what we can say is that um, on the right-hand side, we have only things that remain are a factor of a, b, a capital A and b that are common, so we factor that out on the left-hand or left-hand side, so we're left with a squared plus b squared, and then we have a, b on the outside. Similarly here, we're left with two uh, little a, little b, big a, big b. And, it, and those cancel. Wonderful. All right, cool. So uh, what this says is that, that we're now left with a squared plus b squared minus 2ab equals 0. 
if we put everything to one side? Well, what do you know? That's uh looks to be the difference uh right now, so that's equal to a minus b squared. Since a and b are non-zero, this tells us that um a minus b equals zero and a equals b. Wonderful. So the original equation now looks like if we plug this in, a e to the i a x plus b e to the i a x equals c e to the i c x. Um, and now we can factor out that exponential and we're left with a plus b equals e to the i x equals c e to the i c x. Applying similar methods, okay, if we plug in zero here for x, we get that a plus b equals c. Showed that already in the first part. If we differentiate and evaluate at x equals zero, we get uh, a times uh, big A plus big B equals C times little, uh, little C times big C. Substitute in four, uh, we see that we get A, uh, substitute, yeah, substitute four into five, we get little A um, uh, times big A plus big B is equal to C, little C, big C. Um, on the left-hand side, we substitute in equation four, so we get AC is equal to uh, little c, big C, uh, it should have been a space, excuse me. Um, and you see the C's cancel, so we show that A is equal to C. Since C is non-zero, now the original equation is, well, A equals IAX plus B equals IAX plus equals C equals IAX. So A plus B is equal to IE to the IAX equals C, E to the IAX. Once again, proving that A plus B equals C. And a little a plus little, oh, excuse me, little a equals little b equals little c, and big a plus big b equals big c. Again, pretty easy. Let the uh, differential equation or derivatives help you. Um, uh, uh, yeah, you're gonna see this soon, and it'll help.